what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm about several different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about the upcoming exorcist trilogy we'll be talking about jeepers creepers 4 and 5 slightly and we'll be talking about terrifier 2 a little bit of terrifier 3 update and we'll be talking about the strangers reboot trilogy that is currently in production so david gordon green just to start off with with the exorcist trilogy david gordon green has talked about the difference in how he's approaching this exorcist trilogy compared to how the now concluded Halloween revival trilogy was approached when speaking to Collider. He said that they're nothing alike. Halloween is a horror movie. It's a slasher movie. It's midnight madness. Good time at the movies. Eat some popcorn. Man, honestly, that description of it from him might be why they decided to take some of the swings they took because they don't they didn't take it too seriously for a lot of people after seeing ends so he said he followed up to say that the exorcist is a very research drama about effed up things spiritually religion mental health family and it's you can overlap those two in these very different subgenres of horror but the approach technically creatively is very different so i'm glad he knows that but i also know that after halloween ends several folks are concerned about this new exorcist trilogy um and apparently it's supposed to actually start filming in a few weeks according to green who had a chat with variety recently as well saying that we start in a couple weeks and we're ready to roll up our sleeves and dive into the next great franchise honestly at this point ellen burton's return is my biggest interest uh seeing her back as as that as the mcneil mother but we'll see how this plays out because the exorcist i know is another ip that many people feel is a cherished treasure when it comes to horror myself included only having seen that movie once when i was a kid and then revisiting it many times as i got older the movie just kind of stuck with you because of how it was so well made and the same thing for halloween and after it ends a lot of people are concerned about this person touching any other iconic ips even though i liked halloween ends i i did recognize in my spoiler review that it is very anticlimactic and has a lot of problems just to start off with or jump into jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers 4 is dominating at the red box <laughs> at red box apparently debuting at number one which is again something i'm shocked about all this leads me to believe is that this ip won't be gone for too long because while this court case is going on the parties involved are definitely aware of the money that's being generated it just has to get the, we just have to get the franchise in the proper creative hands at this point because like as for jeepers creepers 5 based on the ending of four i mean at best you would get a movie centered on chase and lane once again being stalked by the creeper and its cult of idiots plus probably a fleshed out angle surrounding lane being possessed by the creeper at the end of the movie that no one really i would say has an interest in seeing as bad as four was i wouldn't put it past the team even to even introduce like or pull like a bride of the creeper angle do like a bride of chucky type of thing pull that by making him connected to lane in that fashion calling lane the creeper's bride no one wants to see that so let's just not bother i think many people along with myself want four to be ignore just like we ignore three four has threads for a sequel but the narrative this team has created is already such a betrayal of lore and continuity that it'd be stupid to flesh out more unfinished bad ideas would it not jeepers creepers 5 would yes most likely play out if it's coming from this team where they're fleshing out that terrible angle at the end where we see lane possessed by the creeper that'll be fleshed out we'll see him probably stalk them and hunt them down for the fetus once again and probably have a lot more questions and answers related to the cult so i'm not interested in seeing any more jeepers creepers movies from this team jeepers creepers 5 should be another clean slate and it should be a true direct sequel to that first movie uh if myriad pictures can get this ip revived or again do the tv series terrifier 2 is returning to over 700 theaters this weekend due to the success it, due to the success it had last week bringing in around like four hundred thousand dollars i believe during thursday showing so that was pretty impressive for an indie movie like that and i have seen the reports yes of moviegoers not being able to stomach art the clowns shenanigans honestly i hope those folks are okay because i never thought i'd see headlines like this about this movie damien leon did also confirm he has plans for terrifier 3 he said i basically have a structure for part 3 already he told this to slash film last month like i think prior to the premiere at uh fantastic fest i think he also said this during the nightmare on film street podcast in reference to the sequel leaving questions unanswered he said we left it open with that twist ending clearly there's there's a lot more to say with art and with sienna i'm down for more art the clown and if the budget is amplified once again like we saw here 
then the quality will only get better. Lauren Lauren's character of Sienna might be Art's Nancy to like kind of how he's Freddy and this is his Nancy. So I would like to see her return as well because she was a very good final girl to follow. So I would love to see more of that character. Um, Terrifier 3, I don't know when it's coming, but it sounds like Damien Leone is confident that it will come. I thought we were going to get an announcement today from that AMA, but we'll see what happens. I'm certain it will come because this second movie is doing some big numbers for an indie movie. Just to conclude with The Strangers, so The Strangers reboot trilogy is currently filming, and we got a first look at some of the madness via the image of Madeline Petch on set. She shared this on her IG story a while back, I believe. We know she is operating as the film's focus as her character is driving cross country with her longtime boyfriend to start a new life in the Pacific Northwest. When their car breaks down in Venice, Oregon, the two are forced to spend the night in the secluded Airbnb. Their stay goes quickly awry and they get terrorized from dusk till dawn by three masked strangers. Roy Lee has also stated to a fan that the look of the strangers would be similar. So I guess they're just referring to the mask. He said this in a DM. Uh, I had a screenshot sent to me to, val to validate that. And a new cast member was revealed early this week. Emma Hovarth or Hor Horvath? Emma Horvath has joined the growing cast according to Deadline. No, they didn't specify who she plays. I am excited for this trilogy and I want it to succeed. I'm a big fan of that first Strangers movie. I do enjoy the sequel, thought it was decent. Uh, definitely more of a love letter to 80s horror um, and definitely more in line with like a movie like Friday the 13th, I would say, versus what you got in the original movie which is a lot more built on that feeling of unease and just constant tension and making you unsettled constantly while it's playing out uh, terrifier 2 was just again like a straightforward kind of love letter to the 80s slashers and it was still well done um i can't wait to see what madeline pesh is able to do in her role and learn more about her character as as this progresses obviously with three movies coming back to back to back I guess she's going to survive the first, second, and the th and the third. It sounds like she's in all three. Uh, it doesn't mean she's going to survive the trilogy, but it definitely sounds like there's going to be an importance to her character. So we'll get to learn more about this new trilogy as it continues to film out in or after it films or maybe even during while it's filming because we only got that one cast update this week we'll learn more about it as time goes on let me know what you guys think about all these updates down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video